In this video, I'm gonna talk and walk you through how to build out the perfect webinar funnel using Kajabi. And we're gonna be using Zoom webinars to actually integrate with Kajabi. It is a question that I get uh, quite a lot and most recently how to actually piece all of these components together using Kajabi. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step and to start, I'm just gonna jump straight on over into my account. So here I am inside my Kajabi account and I'm just using my partner's dashboard to walk and talk you through this, how I would set it up from scratch. And if you haven't done this before, it is quite daunting. There are a few moving parts, but once you do your first uh, webinar using Kajabi and Zoom, it's actually quite simple. You just do it time and time again and you'll get used to it. So under the marketing tab, all I've done is I've clicked on funnels. And all you need to do, if you haven't created a first funnel, it will just say create your first funnel and click get started. So there's a few funnels that you can actually choose from. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking you through the Zoom webinar uh, funnel. If you haven't already watched my lesson or video on how to create a Zoom webinar and what actual functions you need on a Zoom webinar, it's a little bit different from Zoom rooms. Go and watch that video first before you watch this video and then walk through this to actually integrate it with Kajabi. So all you need to do is click on Zoom webinar, click get started, and then you need to name your funnel. So we're just gonna be calling this webinar test. And then what I've done is I've just copied a Zoom meeting link because you need that link. If you haven't created that link, it won't let you actually create the funnel. So go ahead and get the, the Zoom webinar link from how I teach you in the previous video and then paste it in here. Select your start time. So I'd give maybe a week or two weeks or even a month out if you're planning this. I'm just gonna give it a week out. So it's 20th of February today. I'm gonna to give it a week out. So 27th and then click a relevant time that you're actually gonna be delivering this webinar. This will create an event. So everything is revolving around this day and this time. And obviously make sure you pick a time zone. So for ease of use, I'm just gonna pick uh, London. So I'm gonna put GMT plus zero uh, and then select an offer. So if you haven't already got an offer set up, again, you need to go and create an offer so you can actually link it into this funnel. So I've just uh, created a free offer. Uh, it's just as webinar offer and then you click create funnel. Now it should take a few seconds to actually create this whole funnel because it is actually building quite a lot of things into it. So it might take a few a few seconds, but actually this is populated quite quickly. This is now build, built me out a blueprint of my, my webinar test. Uh, down to the left here, you can see this is the blueprint checklist so that Kajabi walks you through it as well. So you've got to actually check that your webinar has an offer linked up. It has a registration page, it has a confirmation page, and it has a sales page. So I'm gonna walk you through this. So all you need to do is just click on the registration page and it zooms into the registration page and all you need to do then is edit this according to your, your messaging, your branding guidelines. So uh, what, what is this online training? Um, the term webinar is typically used in-house. If you're actually going out to your audience, I would either use something like uh, free training, online training, masterclass, web class, something like that. Uh, to actually give something away for free and then position your offers in the solution to their problems. Webinar title, this is um, your main promise of the webinar. In this free training, we're going to be walking you, talking you through X, Y, and Z so that you can do X. And it will self-populate the, the actual time zone and the meeting from the event that this is just populated. And this is already created now this uh, funnel this has created a form for you as well so i'll talk you through that so i'm not going to talk you i'm not going to show you how to edit this uh this registration page but it's very very simple it's the same uh, like editing a landing page you can click into each component uh, and click into each sub component and then actually um, link up the form uh, edit the title uh, and then edit all the background and details for you so i'm just going to go back to funnel overview that's the first thing you're going to be doing and then it's actually created an event. So a webinar test event, which I'll talk you through in a sec. And then the confirmation page. So the registration page is the first thing you need to do because that's the first thing you're going to be showing to your audience. Then they're gonna receive this thank you page. So it's just gonna say how many days it, there are until the actual live training. And again, edit this so it looks like your branding, your messaging. Uh, and then I'm just gonna walk you through the next parts. Then once you've delivered your 
uh, your training, then you should point them to a sales page. Now, again, you can build this out in here or you can link up a separate landing page, but actually have an offer for them to and call them to action to actually go and check out that offer. Benefits of the offer, again, Kajabi give you a very, very rough outline of this, uh, of this sales page. And again, it's very, very simple. Build this out like you would do a normal sales page. And then coming back to uh, the actual checkout. So this is actually linked to um, the offer checkout, which will be then linked to my webinar offer, my free offer, or it won't be free. Typically, if you're giving away free training, you're then going to ask them for a small investment for your program uh, or for your coaching course. So that is basically all of the components linked up You've got the registration page, the actual event that's taking place, confirmation page, sales page, and offer checkout. And the beauty about building this out in a funnel, all you can do is click on view stats and you should be able to see the amount of people landing on your registration page over to your confirmation page, sales page, and then actually accepting that offer. So you can actually get quite a lot of stats through here. And then if you wanted to copy the link uh, to this funnel, this is the best thing about uh, using a funnel and not just separate landing pages, it will actually generate you a, a coded link for the actual funnel itself. So all you need to do is share that link, the funnel link, not any of the landing page links with your audience. So if you were to then rearrange, uh, so if you were to then reorder any of these, so if the, the free training is passed and you wanted to put a replay up, you can then move around uh, the order of these pages and that link that you've sent out will actually direct your audience to the top uh, landing page here. So rather than sending out the registration link, then you wanna send out a replay link after the event, just send out the funnel link, and then you can rearrange all of these. You can even put the sales page at the top. So when they click on that funnel link, it will then take them to the relevant page. So nice little trick there on the funnels. So I've just come back out now. So under marketing, you'll see your webinar test funnel. This is what you need to build out. But secondly, um, Kajabi will have pre-populated an event for you. Now, this is probably one of the most important things. This is what all the countdown timers will point towards. So if you click into this event, you will then see all of these emails. Again, Kajabi do a good, uh, a good job of actually pre-populating some copy for you here. So it gives you an idea of what to, uh, what to tell your audience. So here, email one, two, three, and four before the event. And the event is now on February 28th as the time that I'm recording this. And then you can have follow-up emails, email five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's post-event emails. And they give you some neat little coding here. So if you keep that coding in the emails, it will then populate their, their local time. Um, and then it will actually give them the, the time to the actual event. So this is actually calling them to the event all of these emails, you can then go and go ahead and edit these, put your copy into these, and then it will then link out. And this will get delivered to everyone that registers for the event. So anyone that fills out a form, and, and I'm going to come onto forms in a, min in a minute, it will actually show you, uh, if I leave this page, it will show you a list of everyone that's registered. Now, just bearing in mind, you might get some people fill out the form multiple times, but it will only count them once in the actual registrations here. So everyone who has registered for these events will get the pre and post email sequences once you build them out and it will automate that and then lastly then the forms you have a webinar test form here this is the form that's just been built into the actual registration page itself and then you can go ahead and edit this form if you want double opt-in single opt-in um, what fields you want typically name an email if they're attending a live event and then send a notification to yourself or your team. However you build out the form submissions, you're gonna see the submissions in here. So again, you might have more form submissions than registrations, and that will just be people filling, filling them out in, in multiple time. But that's basically how you, the, the main components of a webinar funnel using Kajabi. So you've got the actual funnel itself, the event and the forms, and just be sure to share that funnel link with your audience so you can actually rearrange the order of those pages within that funnel. And like I said before, if you haven't already created your webinar through Zoom, go ahead and do that before you create this funnel so then it will all link up and you can just share that single link with your audience.
So hopefully that helps and has answered some of the questions that I've been getting recently about how to build out a Kajabi funnel or a live webinar funnel using Kajabi and Zoom. Kajabi is the online platform that I choose to run my entire online business on. And if you wanted to test this out for a free 30 day extended trial, you can use my link heading over to timpeakman.com forward slash Kajabi. And full disclosure, this is an affiliate link. All it means is that if you continue to be a paying customer of Kajabi, part of your payment will come back to me and in support of this channel at no extra cost to you. If you do sign up uh, immediately using my link, I'm going to grant you free access to a course, Kajabi Unboxed. It's a course I've put together to actually walk you through first, second, and third, what you should be doing to set your Kajabi account up in the right way for growth and scale. And again, if you continue to be a paying customer, I'm going to grant you another course, Kajabi sales page templates, where you can simply use the templates and the sales pages that I use in my business, download them from this product and upload them into your new Kajabi account and use them across your business. So hopefully that's helped. I look forward to seeing you again on another video soon.